Hey, good morning. It's Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. Today we're continuing our barn build. Got my delivery of our siding. Hey, what I have here is for the front of the barn we have this nice German siding and it goes together like this gives you that nice shadow that nice curve here the rest of the barn we're going with 1 by 10 tongue and groove that's this here it's smooth on one side and it's rough on the other so I think that'll look nice so this side in here this German lap this is gonna go on horizontally the rest of the siding on the barn is gonna be vertical so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a bunch of these 1 by 10s to 81 inches that's what the two long sides need So here's the back side, it's a, it's a rough side. And we have the smooth side. I got these in 14 footers. That should minimize the waste I have. I'm gonna check the ends for square. If they're pretty square, I'll just go ahead and cut them into the 81 inch pieces. Uh, let's see how square this is. Actually, she's a little off, but I'm going to say that's good enough. So I'm going to measure off 81. One All right, I'm gonna go cut a bunch more of those. I'll be back with you when there was a cut. We'll bring them back around and start the siding on the barn. All right, since I'm cutting the boards out front, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of these pieces that I need for above the windows. The boards are about nine. So nine times eight is 72. So eight boards will take me to here. So one board is gonna take me into here. So let's see what I need to do, nine. I would guess I'm gonna need three for that window. Three of the short pieces. And I'll need three of these pieces here.
Okay, I need one more long one and five more of the short ones. Because the other side, remember the other side of the barn is the same exact uh, setup. Let's get stuff unpacked here. I need three of these long ones, I think, for this side. Three of the short ones. Three of the short ones for the other side and three of the long ones for the other side. These are the window pieces. All right, the first thing I need to do, I'm gonna start sheathing here on the right-hand side and working my way left. I need to cut off the groove over here to make this flush over here and work my way this way leave the tongue okay. and so i just got to take one of my pre-cut boards rip it down on the table saw and get started here what are you doing up there what are you doing up there Oh, got an escapee. Come on, escapee. Come on. Come on. <laughs> get back in there. Come on, get back, get back in there, girls. Get back in there. Watch your feet. Ready to put the first board in. Got my braces detached for a minute. I want to come right up to the top there. Adjust my depth there a little bit, see what happens.
Let's see what that looks like over here. That's dead on right there. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting these on. I'll come back with you as soon as I get to the window. Made it to the window. Now we're gonna have to cut out around the window opening. Just reach back here. And that's the piece I gotta cut out right there. Looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna shoot across the top with my small pieces and across the bottom with the, the longer pieces I cut. And that right there is not a problem because we're just gonna, that's all gonna be covered by the window.
All right, we're just gonna put a block right here, real close. See if we can't get that wedged over there. Okay, made it to the end. A little shy, but it's perfectly square with the other part here so I know this was plumb here this the back wall this is great we're gonna trim this off with metal trim want to protect the corners so we're gonna use some metal trim on it Okay, let's take a step back and look. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now we're gonna swing around the corner here. We're gonna start working our way left to right here along this wall. These boards cover a little less than nine inches. Let's see what we got here. Nine, 18, 27. That'll be good. One will take me to here. Then I got the three pieces for above and below the window. That'll take me over to the other side. Okay, these boards here I have going up to this level right here. Okay, have our window piece that needs to be cut out in. Let's go up here and hold that tight as I can. Just like we did on the other window. Take that out, cut it out, and put it right back in.
think it's dropped 15 20 degrees here in the last half an hour it's getting cold i made it to the door i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna trace around the opening I'll run this straight down the edge here at the bottom. That looks pretty good. I like it. What I think I'm gonna do is take this back down and cut that right off up there too. There, I think that's a better idea to come across here just with a flat piece coming in this way. Then I'll pick it back up over here. All right, I'm gonna head to the table saw and cut the groove off this one. Come back, place it on here and shoot across there. important to me to make sure that this is right out to the edge here rather than having this perfectly plumb I've only got a short run here I got a couple more boards to put in I got the big corner metal corner molded to go on here
Uh, now the question is, what's the chance of that going in there without splitting anyways? Let's give her a try. The last piece I have to put in is this one here. I want to make it three inches. Bye. 31 and an eighth. Looks pretty good.